In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the air triggers and why this is a must have feature for you. Now, before you use the air triggers the first time, you have to set your preferred air trigger sensitivity so you know how much pressure you need to apply to make the air trigger trigger in action. Now, in order to do this, you have to reach the settings through the quick menu and then by holding down the air triggers, you will have it here. Another way of finding these settings is through Armory Crate. Now let's open that up. So when pressing the console here and scrolling down, you will have the same setting. But this is also where we find the finger resting feature. So this makes it so that you do not have to lift your finger between every time you want to make a press. So this is a feature you definitely want to have activated. So let's turn that on. Moving on to the pressure level. So the first screen you are going to see is this one. And here you get a preview of how much pressure you're applying to the button. And I think this should be about enough. And then you do the same thing for the right trigger. And maybe, maybe around here should do it. And in this screen, you get a preview of both buttons at the same time so you know how much pressure you are applying for it to trigger. Okay, so that is all to it. Now we're going to start up Shadow Gun Legends to show you how to map these air triggers. Now you can map and remap the air triggers at any time. Just bring out the Game Genie by simply swiping from the left and here we have the air trigger mapping. So this is where you're gonna turn the air triggers on. And here are the colored circles where you're going to touch when you're pressing the air triggers. If you're ever unsure about which air trigger that is left or right, simply press one of them and you will see which color that corresponds to that trigger. After you place them where you want them, so I'm gonna place them here. So the right one will go to the reload and I will have the left trigger to firing my gun. So after this, you just simply press the X and you're back in the game. Now this will make it so much easier running around, looking around and firing your gun and reloading at the same time. So you really get two more fingers than you did before. Now you see when pressing the air triggers that they light up. If you notice that the sensitivity is too high or low, you can always quickly access the armory crate by simply swiping in from the right. You press the console button, swipe down here to the sensitivity, press here and reset. And after this, you just follow the same process as you did before. Now you go to the Armory Create home screen. You press the launch button. Now just launch it and boom, you are back in the game. Now this really is a must have feature for anyone that likes playing first person shooters or maybe even console emulators. To have those two extra buttons really makes a difference for your gameplay.